In today's video, let's have a look at an interesting technique using selective color adjustments to go from this to this. Pretty amazing, right? Let's go through the steps one by one. The link to the macro collection will be in the description. We start by adding a selective color adjustment from the Layers tab. In the red color, lower the cyan to minus 100 and increase the black to 100. In the yellows, lower the cyan to minus 100 again, but this time make the yellow 100%. In the greens, we are just going to lower the black to minus 100. In the blues, we will increase the cyan to 100%. The whites, we will decrease the black to minus 100. And finally, on the blacks, we will start by setting the cyan to around 30 and gradually decrease from 30 in the magenta and the yellow. Now that the selective adjustment is set up, we can change the blend mode to screen, which makes the image super bright. To compensate, we can make a duplicate and set the blend mode to multiply in the duplicate. We also need to make some slight changes in the duplicate. First, in the neutrals, let's set the black to minus 100 and in the whites, change the black to 100 also. That looks a bit better, but it is not our final result. Let's select both of them and group them. I will make another group on top of it and drag the group with the selective color adjustments into it. So we will have a group containing a group. Now comes the interesting part. Let's change the blend mode of the group with the adjustments to difference. Now we will use this difference to blend in with the original and to do that I will now change the parent group's blend mode to soft light. Pretty awesome. Let me turn the group on and off so we can quickly compare. We can control the lightness of the effect by adjusting the opacity of the difference group. Notice how the lighter areas get stronger and weaker by adjusting the opacity. Usually a value around 60 works great. Here is the before and here is the after. As mentioned, I have created a macro for this in my Insta223 macro group. So let me delete what we just created and apply the macro. Quick and easy. If we look at what the macro has created, we can see the two selective color adjustments with the screen and the multiply blend mode combined with the two groups in difference and soft light blend mode. Let's try this on a couple of different images. This looks amazing after applying our macro. If you want to dim the effect on the darker areas, so we don't lose too much detail there, we can use the blend ranges and adjust the underlying composition range, so that the darker areas are not affected. This worked quite well, and have a look at this one. It almost created an HDR look. As the selective color adjustment targets the red and the green, it works excellently for sunny and romantic photos, like this one. We can even increase the opacity of the difference group to further dim down the bright areas. Let's see what it does to this image. Amazing! Also here, by adjusting the difference group we can nicely fine tune it. This image here looks already pretty good, but we can still apply our effect. Which, as you can see, is definitely too much. But, by lowering the opacity quite a bit, we can give that extra punch to the image. In this example, let's apply our macro. But this time, I will change the blend range of the difference group so it does not affect the darker areas. As you notice, this group makes the image darker, so by changing the blend mode, we are not making the darker areas darker. Here is another example where this effect really turned out nice, especially on the water pretty cool. In the final image I'm going to apply the macro again, but we can still use an adjustment below our group. Let me add a selective adjustment again, just on top of the image below our group. This allows me to fine tune the image and with our effect applied we can get really nice results. I hope you liked this video, thanks again for watching and until the next video.